I'm with Jeff Allen, uh, ex Black Cats cricketer and pioneer of the high value lamb trade in India here from his New Zealand based company Quality New Zealand. Jeff, you've been here for 12 years now, which makes you something of a pioneer in this sector. Uh, what are some of the biggest changes you've seen in that time and, and what is it that you what is the niche that you've found in this particular market in India? Uh, it's been a fascinating journey. Uh, fortunately, we had a shared vision with the Alliance Group and obviously the 5,000 farmers that they represent uh, to come into this market, um, knowing that it was going to take some time to establish, knowing that there was a lot of barriers initially and um, knowing that it was going to take a hell of a lot of dedication and uh, cooperation with each other. And we've done that. Um, you know, we've established a supply chain from effectively New Zealand all the way through to our customers. Uh, we control that supply chain. Um, we control the importation, the marketing, the distribution. So that ensures also you know, product quality. Um, it ensures that traceability is, is looked after. We're ISO 22,000 approved throughout the whole system. We're now in 46 cities and we deal with 365 star hotels. So it's been an, a, a tough journey in many ways in terms of time, uh, a real commitment, but it's starting to pay dividends now in terms of the exposure and the, the market share. We're currently about 80, 83% of all sheep meat coming into right. India. Yeah. So, um, but the changes um, have been immense. Um, you know, we've seen we've seen huge uh, technology changes, banking system changes. Um, India is embracing uh, this this wonderful use of technology. Yeah. Um, before it was very much a, a paper society. Yeah. Um, banking was done with with cash as opposed to cards, and they've flipped that in about you know six years. Yeah. Um, Modi has a great saying. Um, he wants to turn the uh, the red tape into red carpet. <laughs> right. And he's done that really well. Yeah, right. um, and I'm actually, I feel quite proud that the, of what the, the progress is. They, they rate themselves on or rank themselves on the ease of doing business globally yeah. and they've improved out of sight. Right. So huge amount of work going on here in India. Um, they're very cautious about what they let in and who they let in, but at the same time, they're very aggressive around their growth. Yeah. They want to take advantage of their demographic advantages and, um, and they're going gangbusters. Yeah, right. Where do you see the next phase of growth coming from for Quality New Zealand then? Yeah, look, we've um, we've invested in a in an in-market processing centre in India. That means that we bring product in in more of a raw state um, and then process that product in market. It's taken a huge amount of work to obviously identify that partner and then work with them to make sure our quality systems um, adhere to our, our expectations. Um, but that's been fantastic. So we're now producing a product range that will allow us to get into a, a bigger demographic, um, a bigger customer grouping. Um, and then ultimately exporting that product out. So it'll be New Zealand product with some value added done in market here in India under our strict guidance, and then looking to not only serve the market locally, but also surrounding markets. Awesome. No, onwards and upwards then it is. Great. Thanks for your time, Jeff. Thank you. Awesome.